Howdy and welcome to George Moore's Silly Kitchen videos, uh, specifically produced for the Leonard's of Secaucus, New Jersey. And what we're going to do is, uh, last weekend, they uh, made a trip up here and I prepared some of my uh, steak tips and marinade and pictures and things posted to Facebook that don't quite do it. Uh, and I didn't feel like writing out instructions, so I'm hoping this what should take about two minute video. We'll take care of it. So I've got my apron. Milan is looking on. Um, it's Bruins colors right now, but he's a, he's a Los Angeles king as of now. So let's get going and show you how we put together the marinade. This is what I pretty much what I used last time on Saturday, or actually Friday when I made the marinade. So it will basically start with uh, this balsamic with honey dressing. This one happens to be Ken's. You can pretty much use uh, whatever you want. If you want to use something else, that looks about good to start. Um, Ken's over here. Um, this is Stubbs. This is spicy. I uh, used the regular last time. Uh, Deb might not get to enjoy these steak tips, but we're going to try and put a little bit of Stubbs in here. Uh, and that should be about right. Uh, next, we're going to put a little bit of wishbone Italian. Any Italian will do. Get over here, Cap. That's about right. And um, I have to give a shout out to um, the person who taught me not to measure. And I have to say it has pretty much worked out pretty well. And that would be uh, Andrea Marchese. It's been uh, perfection uh, not having to measure. And it saves on cleanup. A little Worcestershire shire sauce uh, goes a long way. So we'll do that. Um, I like red wine vinegar. Um, you can use apple cider vinegar. Um, the cats like apple cider vinegar. That's good. Give it a little bit piquant. Um, okay. It, the walk on is over. Um, and let's add our dry ingredients. Uh, I have some garlic powder here. Um, add what you want. That's going to be about right for that. Put that over here. This is a blend of Italian spices. Uh, this happens to be Penzi's. Um, it's called Tuscan Sunset. And it's a mixture of oregano and all kinds of good stuff. I put it on pretty much everything and I, I mix it with other uh, rubs and different things. And that works out pretty good. Um, I probably don't need much salt. That should be good. And as always, a little, it's not fresh ground, but it is ground pepper. And what I'll do is I'll just kind of get this wicked together. I've got a little water over here just in case I need to add a little volume to this. I really don't. I think that's going to work out pretty much perfect. Um, if the camera person can get a shot, that's about what it's going to look like. Um, I am going to give it a taste because that's pretty damn good right there. Um, one thing that was asked about was what we use for beef. I use these beef loin choice sirloin tips. Um, it's $10 a pound. Beef has been pretty expensive the last couple of years. Uh, but that's what it looked like. This is a small package, uh, about a pound and a half. Um, that's kind of all we need. Um, you can pull your meat. You can do whatever you want with it. Um, this is kind of what it looks like. It's got a lot of nice marbling to it. Um, what we're going to do is quickly, we're going to cut this up. This comes like in four strips. And in no time we should be able to take care of this. So cameraman was making a face. Now let's get this bowl out of the way so you can kind of see what I'm doing here to the meat. I'm going to cut this. It's a little flat, but I'm going to cut that like that. You probably want about an inch and a half pieces. Um, that's going to give you a good enough bite. Uh, we're just going to throw that right in there. Um, you do want to marinate um, this at least overnight, if not 24 to 36 hours. Um, 
You can also do something like put it um, in a Ziploc freezer bag and just kind of put it in there, let it marinate for a couple hours and then just stick it in the freezer. Uh, and that'll work. I do that occasionally. So that's going to be, that's going to do that. Okay, so I didn't bring a fork, but pretty much that's going to be enough mixture. If I'm marinating it in the fridge, uh, what I'll do is every so often, um, every say six hours or so, uh, and that's plenty of marinade, I probably could have put more meat in there if you can see that. Um, just kind of flip it around and move, uh, move it around. Uh, right now, I want to thank our sponsor before we end this. Uh, this is a 10 year old can of Crisco and brought to you by um, Who over the hell makes Crisco and this uh, delicious looking cherry pie there. So hopefully this helps the Leonard's out uh, These are uh, George's uh, steak tips and marinade um, Maybe there'll be another video later this week Showing you me cooking my steak tips. Have a good night everybody. Enjoy <laughs>